This town just makes lazy people lazier. Yep. Oh, where is it? Traffic. I'll tell you what, we'll go inside and have a stable, we'll come back out and see if any come okay. past, okay? <laughs> see if anything's changed. Yes. Ooh, look at them. They're cool. Well, I seen was fucking tits. <laughs> then I looked back that way and Kim seen me looking at her tits. Russ didn't see him, but anyway, so he tells me. <laughs> didn't say, mate. Oh, didn't say. No. <laughs> okay. So we come over and old Rusty sits in the chair and looks down the ground and went, fucking hell. Push me out the way. I'll oh, fucking show you. I told you what I want. I want a nice little blonde. Yeah, you've got big blondes. We ain't got no little blondes, have we? <laughs> oh, Freddy! That's <laughs> where you are. Freddy? Freddy. Why is it called Freddy? What? Where are you going to sleep? Some little blonde place, I guess. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's one down near the fish shop that was chatting us up <laughs> before. Let's <laughs> get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Okay, so here we are, we've rocked up at Marion Bay, haven't we, sweet? We're in SA, SA. In SA, it's a Marion Bay. Yeah, not Tasmania, no, is it, babe? No. It's not Tasmania. This is our unit for the night. We're in number one down there, aren't we, sweetie? We've come up from... Um... No, we've come down <laughs> from... Munta. 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 Munta, Munta. That's right, Munta, I want it, babe. Yep. Yeah, that's where we've come from. This is the back of our motel here. Not bad, eh? Tavern. Well, it's a tavern, isn't it? See, this is it here. Pretty, isn't it? Uh, right there. Hey. Geez, I'm glad we didn't ride up this drive. Look at the big potholes. Yeah, no, there's a few it? there. I would have got every one of them. Of course you would have, because <laughs> you would have looked at them and drove straight at them, wouldn't you? Road at them. This is our beach down here. <laughs> our beach is down here, yes. Look, see, there it is. Marion Bay. Tavern and motel. So we've That's... worked out, we've already done a couple of laps of the town. Yeah. I think I might have turned the GoPro off during it because it was all the same sort of stuff. You can't really call it a town we worked out. <laughs> it's got a general store and a tavern and a motel. And we're living there all yeah, in one. <laughs> but it's got a caravan park down the other end, hasn't it? Yeah. It's very beautiful though. What ocean is that? that that's one with blue water in it, sweetie. <laughs> Yeah, Blue Water Ocean, they call it. No, it isn't. It's just like that, lovers. Yeah. Yeah? I haven't Googled that yet. I will do. Going for a swim day? No. Oh. I had one yesterday. This seems to be, this, this South Australia adventure seems to be all about the jetties. It is. Doesn't it, babe? Yeah, it is. There's jetties <laughs> Maybe I everywhere. should call this jetified South Australia. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Or something like that, hey? Yeah. And it's hello from Marion Bay. Look what do we got here? Whales. Where, babe? Where's the whale? There's a whale there, babe. <laughs> <laughs> York Peninsula, code of the coast. Hooded sing. plovers, babe. Look they out. Re they reckon if you sing a song at the end of the jetty, the um, sharks come. Do they? Fish come. Marion Bay is truly a beautiful part of South Australia. Worth going down to have a look at. This, this York Peninsula and over on the, what's the other peninsula called that we're on, um, babe? Air. Air Peninsula. So you see very windy places, don't it, babe, eh? Yeah, as soon as you get near the ocean, it's windy. Yeah, very windy, but it is beautiful, though. I will, I will give them that. I'll give them that. What do you reckon? Yeah, give them that. Yeah, we'll give them that. Maybe we're just here on bad days. Someone's left their boat out there, babe. Yeah. Probably ducked into the tavern for a couple of schooners. Yeah. There. Oh, we've got mooring boys out here everywhere for them. Mooring boys all the way through there. What do they do? To moor the boat at. 
so it doesn't drift away. Oh, you hook it up to it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have just said that, shouldn't I, eh? <laughs> we'll just hook the boy. We'll just hook the fucking thing up to the boy. That's right. It's freaking layman's terms. <laughs> They're called terms. boring boys. Layman's terms. I'm not a fisher person. She, obviously, if she's saying fisher person, isn't she, eh? She could have said fisherman or fisherwoman. No, it's the correct way to say it. No, it's not. Fisher person. Okay, whatever. Well, you want me to say fisherman? Yeah. Yeah, fisherman. Yeah, you're biased. You're no. very biased. Yeah, it's very windy. You can probably hear that on the on the mics, guys. Anyway, how's the way? Kim only normally talks dribble anyway, so you have to put up with me. Yeah, we'll have to put up with Jaws getting rough in a minute, and I'll push him over the edge. <laughs> Don't reckon, guys. Hey, someone's moored the boat out there at the... Where, where, whereabouts, mate? Eh? They've the, tied it up at a buoy. <laughs> at a floaty thing, she reckons. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've just been talking to a bloke down there fishing. Been there for a couple of hours. Caught a squid when he first got there and hasn't caught anything else since, has he? Uh, so, I looked at more. the squid and he's got a big eyeball. That's what squids have. <laughs> One on each side. Huge like that. Oh, okay. Hi. We're going to go for a little walk and um, I don't know what we're going to really do. <laughs> That's not oh, much personally, do. I think we're going to be going to the bottle shop. I think so. Sitting out in front having a drink, waiting for tea. Then we'll go do the same again. We'll have, have yep. uh, more drink with tea. Yep. Then we'll go back to the unit and have more drinks. Yep. That's we? it. That's all you can do in this little town. Well, I'm sure there's lots of things you can do here. Lots of things. There's lots of nature walks. Yeah. If you had a four-wheel drive, you could go up exploring. There is a lot of dirt roads For around energetic here. energetic people. Yeah. It's not us, I can tell you. Nah, this town just makes lazy people lazier. Yep, that's it. But you can sit back and relax in this environment, can't you, babe? Yep. Just another view, guys. We'll be there soon. We're going to check the shop out. Yep. How many were for? See what they sell. We live up around the corner down there, out of everyone's way, typical. Yeah. Put the bikers out of people's way in a boat. We've already fueled up to make a quick getaway in the morning, haven't we? Yep. Just in case Kim becomes a bit unruly tonight. <laughs> well, that could happen. Yes, it's happened before, you know, on the road. I'm usually unruly about 7 o'clock, then I dash in and go to bed at 7.30. Yeah, she causes yeah. all this shit, then she goes and runs hops in bed with a bottle. Because <laughs> <laughs> she reckons no one will hurt a baby with a bottle. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> My baby will bottle, I'll hit her on the fucking head with it if she carries on too much. Just to ensure that she does go to sleep. <laughs> This here is the general store here. Hold on, babe, hold back. Traffic. Oh, Traffic. sorry. Traffic, sweetie. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Oh. Where is it? Traffic. I'll tell you what, we'll go inside, have a stay, we'll come back out, see if any come okay. past, okay? <laughs> see if anything's changed. Yes. Well, nothing much at all changed, apart from us having a few bloody ciders at this beautiful tavern where eventually we went down there for tea that night and it was a superb meal. Here we are and we're here at, at about to leave intercom on. Marion Bay. Fairly good night here. Kim was happy. She had a smart TV so she could watch a million dollar bogan. <laughs> I was binge watching. But I made her watch my brother first, Diner Madness Adventures, <laughs> didn't I, babe? Yeah, that was the first one you put on. You said you have to watch this before we put Daniel on. Yes, because my brother's better. Simple. Better quality shit dribbles from his mouth than what does Daniel's. <laughs> yeah. Better quality. So. It's going to be overcast, but not raining today, apparently. So they tell me. So we'll see how far right they are. It's about 13, 14 degrees at the moment. That's not too bad. It's a boat. Deal with that. Deal with that. I just can't deal with you. That's where I rusty walked down and got Kimmy a nice hot chocolate for brekkie. You did. So that means it's her turn next. <laughs> <laughs> to go to the shop and get a carpa. As long as we park near a shop, we'll be right. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, let's rock and roll. What have you taken us this way? Scenic drive. It's the only way out. I thought we came in the other way. No, we come in this way. Oh, okay. Geez, you're directionally challenged. Certainly am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is all you got, mate, I guess. You're welcome to Waruka, guys. Is that how you say it, babe? Waruka, yeah, I think. 
That nice old house here on the right. Isn't it? Nice. Yeah. Oh, you're that far behind. You're looking at the wrong house. <laughs> Just another little town on the York Peninsula. Lower York. Bit of solo art there, babe. Bit of solo art. <laughs> <laughs> on a tank. Uh, it's as big as their silos grow. <laughs> that man waved to me. Did he? Yeah, they're very friendly people here. That blonde waved to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You got the better end of the deal. Yeah, fucking over I did. <laughs> Yeah, some old crunchy guy waving to you and some yeah. young jiggy mate waving to me. Are you doing 50? No, I'm getting all excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a young jiggy mate waved to me, babe. Uh, Coming to York and we've actually got a couple of little windy roads now, haven't we, babe, instead of the straight yeah. stuff. Yeah. Very pleasing. You, you right there, Mrs McCracken? That's up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone don't know why she's called Mrs. McCracken? Have a look at the previous video. <laughs> now, oh God, we just fit. Oh, Mrs. McCracken here. Oh, Mrs. McCracken. That's what I'm calling her. Come over here. Oh, Mrs. McCracken. Here. She gets on the bike the other day. She says, I'm sore. I said, What sore? This is how she got Mrs. McCracken. My crack saw. I said, what do you mean you fucking crack saw? I think my crack is split. I said, it's always in the fucking split there. <laughs> it's always in the split there. It just got bigger. You know what she said? She said, I'll bend over. Can you have a look, please? <gasps> I'm not going there. I'm not going there. He's nothing but a liar. Said, no fucking way, Mrs. McCracken. <laughs> I said, if oh, I look God. there, I'm never going back. <laughs> you said you'll leave me. <laughs> she went just a bit. So I said, not looking. I'm not looking. She can go to the doctors when she gets back. I already know she's got a split there. She doesn't have to tell me. <laughs> so anyway, oh, God. that's how she got Mrs. McCracken. So if you hear me call her Mrs. McCracken, it's, it's the booty. <laughs> it's the booty. Welcome to Yorktown, guys. Another one down on the peninsula. A lot of salt lakes out through this way, apparently. We've seen a few already, haven't we, babe? Yep. We have got a salt lake trail. We might even see about dumping on the road getting to Bricky here, maybe. Because I think Yorktown's a decent-sized town, babe. That's what you said. Well, I don't know what to believe, though. Yeah, no, I've lied before, haven't I? I've been wrong before. I was wrong once. I got fucking married once. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't to me. No, that's right, guys. It wasn't to Kim. That was the only good thing I've ever done. Apart, <laughs> apart, apart, yeah, right. Sorry, apart from the kids. Apart from the kids. Sorry, oh, sorry kids. Oh, sorry, kids, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I better actually put that in, better not I? <laughs> better. Yorktown is a small rural service centre which owes its existence to the surrounding wheat, barley and sheep land as well as the 200 plus salt lakes, which historically were mined for salt, which was shipped out from the port of Edinburgh. Today, it is a sleepy quiet town, surfacing the surrounding farms. Okay, so we just hopped off and had some brekkie at Yorktown Bakery, didn't we? Yep. Welcome to the historic port of Edinburgh, 1869, guys. You would remember that, wouldn't you, Kimmy? That's old. old That's what I mean. It? You'd remember that, wouldn't you? No, not at all. You're the old one and I'm the good looking one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Let's see what this old land has got to offer. Edithburg is a popular family holiday destination on the York Peninsula. It has a reputation for excellent fishing for mullet, yellowfish and whiting both off the jetty and the beach. Although now a holiday destination, it was once a third busiest port in South Australia after Adelaide and Wallaroo. Oh, we've got a nice little wharf down here. We'll go across Just to the right, on babe. Just we'll drive, drive on, on that thing. There's a chain across here, babe. Oh. Is that going to be a problem for you? Uh, <laughs> go under it. <laughs> Lots of people going fishing. There must be fish running, babe. Mm. Hey? All right, I'm going to park up over this side and just set Henry. Right. Yeah, we'll do. 
Can you check me crack? I'm not checking you crack, Mrs. McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> you can get fucked. It's a pretty little place. They're right on the water's edge. Yeah. Been lots of activities here. Boating, got fishing, everything. Okay, we'll just call in the Port Vincent to have a bit of a look, haven't we, babe? We're sticky beaks. Yeah, we're just sticky beaks. Look, we're down this way. We might as well have a little drive through and have a look. There might be something that catches the old eye, mightn't there? Might be, yes. There might be some blonde or something going up the street, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yep. Kim likes bourbon on the blondes. <laughs> you won't get anything in your category. It's a dry zone. That car's got a bit of trouble going because she had her purse sitting up on yep. top of the fucking car. I've seen that. Yeah, she went past. Get back out the road in a minute and find a purse on the ground. Yeah. Port Vincent is more upmarket than most of the holiday towns on the west coast of Gulf St. Vincent, as it is both a holiday and retirement destination. There is really only one reason for visiting Port Vincent, relaxation. Nice little area. Caravan park. Fairly full too. Oh, well, that was Port Vincent guys. Pretty nice isn't it's it guys, look at that. Hey guys, let's look at our drossen. South Australians love to head for the coast during the hot summer months and Ardrossan, being only 90 minutes from Adelaide, has become a popular holiday destination with good swimming and fishing facilities. It is a mixture of quiet family holiday destination and a port. It is located in the western shore of Gulf St Vincent and is an important part of the York Peninsula with a thousand metre long jetty and bulk grain storage facilities. Nice stretch of coast there, look at that. Ooh, might have to go for a walk we might, bud. <laughs> Down through there. Yeah, no, we're going for a walk. Where do you want to park? Along the end here, babe? Yeah. If you park along the end, you only have to push out a little bit. You just wanted to make us walk further. Alright guys, we're going to go. For... Now, don't be like that, sweetie. We're going to get off we're going to do our daily exercise, aren't we, sweetie? That's what you reckon. Oh yeah, then. Back in a minute, guys. Okay then, so here we are at Ardrossan, or whatever. I'll let you know what it is. Look at this. Hey? What do you reckon? Kimmy's down there reading at the moment, aren't you, Kimmy? A reef was built using 60 custom-made concrete structures. Like, you like these ones yeah. here? Yeah, and 800 tonnes of locally picked limestone right. layered with Pacific oyster shells covered in juvenile native oysters. So, so they've made a, a fake roof. Yeah, the oh. roof will be expanded to 20 hectares to be completed by the end of 18. Oh, cool. So it's so done. So it's already done. So yeah. it's out there somewhere. Yep, cool. Okay, so we're off the bikes at our Drossen. As you've seen up the top there, they've made a man made a roof here. There's the wharf there. It's quite a long wharf, and there's a heap of people fishing out there. Hey, look, that's not bad, is it? Mm. It's going down into a sunken. A sunken treasure sort of place, babe. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Is there a treasure chest? Probably not, babe, but lots of steps back up. Come on. I reckon they had their Christmas carols here. What do you reckon? <laughs> what do you reckon, Carol? <laughs> they could be. Come on, Mrs. McCracken. <laughs> Shut up, Mr. <laughs> McCracken. <Yeah. laughs> Just remember which set of steps we came up oh. with. Four or five sets. Stuff in hell, Kim's lost already, guys. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, babe, isn't it? You're trying to lose me. <laughs> She's just fucking worked that one out, isn't she? <laughs> oh, Rusty. <laughs> right here, crumbling cliffs, babe. Oh, they can either. Can you go out on one of them cliffs and just see if it's true? Yeah. If I get up on Isn't there, the it'll crumble for sure. Look at the colour. But what impresses me most about this town is the beautiful cliffs along its coast. England has the white cliffs of Dover, and here we have the red cliffs of Adrossan. The cliffs are a dull red colour when you see it during the day. However, in the early morning when the sun shines, the cliffs become a beautiful shining orange.
Uh, so we've got a shitty here. <laughs> As always. <laughs> uh, murals on your on, on a shitter. I might go use that shitter. Every time you see a toilet, you gotta use the toilet. I know. I know, right? Oh, okay. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Ooh. Ooh. You listen. You listen to all the toilet papers yeah. and users in here. You listen. I'll keep you rolling, then you'll hear it. Ooh, I'm not using them. They're smelly. Oh, I no, don't use good. them. So you're not using them? No. Did you just think them out? No. Yeah, we all heard you Smell on your mic it's in it's there. Smells we all like, heard you. Smells like you've already been in there. <laughs> We're going for a little walk out on the um, pier. We're going to see if they're catching anything, aren't we? Oh, you can ask Look them. Look those cliffs there. They don't like talking to me. This, What's it? the original jetty was built in 1876 to serve the local farming area. Claimed as a port on the 21st of, Nove 21st of November 1878. In 1880, the jetty was extended by 270 metres and later another 70 metre extension brought it to its present length. So it was originally 140 metres long. 340 it is now. 140, 270, and then they added another 70. Yeah, she's, out, she's back there doing maths, guys. Don't worry about it. So her. 270. No, she's three, still doing 340? Yeah, look, look, look. Oh, I fucking didn't. Didn't old Rusty already say that? 340? <laughs> I was adding them up <laughs> my fingers. Okay, guys. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, how far out here do you reckon we got to go? Baby, how many metres? 340. 340, okay. So, apparently, we've got to go 340 metres. <laughs> how far is that? Um, 0.34 of a kilometre. Ooh, she's getting good, isn't she, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now, we've got a heap of people fishing out here, so we'll just see if they're catching anything. We've got people out here crab fishing as well. I wonder what sort of crabs are out here. Blue swimmers, I bet. Yeah, I reckon. They're popular, yeah. aren't they? Nice area. How big they got to be? About six inches, do they? Or? I'm not sure. It's got to be 110. 110. Right, okay. They're cool looking things. Pick him up and help the man, babe. Nah. <laughs> Could I get a picture before you send it back? <laughs> I don't, I've never seen these crabs before. We're from Tasmania, so we don't get crabs like that. No, I don't, I've never seen them. Have Wait, you got something in the bucket? bucket? Ooh, look at them. They're cool. They look decent. Are they nice to eat? Yeah. You don't like them. Oh, don't you eat oh. them? But you're out here helping him. She like, catch <laughs> yeah. she like catching him. You're out here helping him or keeping an eye on him? Just keep the eye, doesn't go overboard. <laughs> cool. Uh, oh, very good. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's exactly right. I uh, love it. <laughs> uh, cool. <laughs> Okay then, Kim's got a bit excited. She's seen her first blue swinger crab, swimmer yep. crab, didn't you, buddy? Not a swinger crab. Not a swinger, no, a swimmer, yes. swimmer crab, isn't it? Yeah, the man showed me in his bucket. Yeah, he had some few size ones there, didn't he? Yep. Only small ones, but they were all perfectly legal. They've got pretty lots, claws on them, though. Lots of people out here crabbing, though. Hmm. Everywhere. Look at this. Hey, guys, we're going back up these 1,001 steps, <sighs> and we'll meet you back at the bike. Come on, we both. Yeah. Are you... They, want to, they don't want to hear all this whinging. They're I'll, sick of it. I'll keep the GoPro on, guys. <laughs> Up them steps, sweetie. Where you go. Yep. You go. You go. Oh, you got the wide angle on? Yeah, I got the wide angle. The super view's on on this one now, mate. Oh, no, we're right. I then. used to use wide angle on the hold rays, but this year I've had to use super view. Uh, Kim, Kim just tells me she wants to have a go at this little buggy, this car. I don't know what it is. Something right. Hop on it, babe. Yeah, I thought you were getting on it. Uh, You're oh. the one that's going to know to work it. Oh, hop on it. It's it's old like you. It's old like me. There you go, babe. I'm on Cool. What do I do now, sweetie? I'm just going to get a happy Here we snap. Go. Kimmy's trying to get up on this seat. Come on, get up. You told me you could get up there. I can. Come on, sit your ass on it. Oh, that feels sit good. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh. dirty. I'm on there. That's dirty. Go on. <laughs> A lump She's on a disgusting, lump. She's disgusting, isn't she?
This is a stump jump plough and it was invented by the Smith brothers in 1876. South Australia in particular can be proud of the pioneer brothers Richard and Clarence Smith in the invention, development and perfection of the stump jump plough. Okay, so we're just leaving Ardrossan. Ardrossan. And um, oh, Rusty had ants all over his helmet. Over his helmet, didn't I, bud? So you sat it on the ground? Yes, I did. <laughs> Might do that again. I probably will. <laughs> I probably Could have been a snack. Okay, so this is our Drossen. It's the main street, and we're just down the bottom end of it. A lot of these, a lot of these towns here, they just lead straight to the open bay. It's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not actually telling her back there. I'm telling you guys, but it sounded like when she answered me, I was telling her because she said, "Yeah." <laughs> I'm just agreeing so with you. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually telling you guys, not her. Because she's actually here with me. <laughs> Alright guys, we're in Port Wakefield. Port Wakefield is a quiet but historically important town, which is used as an important stopover for people travelling along Highway 1 between Adelaide and Port Augusta, as we did. It was once a major port, firstly for copper from Murrah and later for wool. With mangroves grown on the narrow channel, it is now used primarily for small fishing boats and holiday makers. I think we're really in the main street, our motel. I haven't shown you yet. Well, I might have shown you on the way in. But at the moment, we're just looking for grog and food, as we do, in the boat. Yep, might have to go to Adelaide yet. <laughs> Could be fucking quick, huh? Looks like we're having fish and chips. Yeah, there's not much here in Port Wakefield, guys. Yep, pub down here. Alright. Oh, you'd be going on the corner. Yeah. Bottle shop. Yep, right there. Got to go into it for the bottle shop. Mmm. Who the fuck wanted to stay at Port Wakefield? You. It wasn't me. Hello guys, there you go. <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. Yeah, will we? you break your bloody director's chair? Yeah, no, I'll put a bit of weight on. She's got a the director's chair. Oh, I like the sound of that. I know. What could be George... Lucas. George Lucas, can I? Yes. What do you reckon, Darren Tale? I reckon Darren will agree. Yeah. Oh, I wish, I wish I was. Anyway, we've turned up in Port Wakefield tonight. And um, old Kimmy's got a Robert Mizzles on at the moment. <laughs> uh, she's got a mic down her Robert Mizzles. <laughs> Anyone that wants to know what Robert Mizzles are, well, Robert Mizzles are her tits. <laughs> That's it. I don't you know, know why. why. Her mic's just here, see? I don't yeah, know why yeah. it's called you that. Know why, you know why her tits are called Robert Mizzles? Because we're in Dubbo one year, years ago now, turn around on the motorbikes, and we're sitting out at this bloody... Um, motel out by the swim pool of course we we're having a few stubbies weren't we and um robert mizzle was playing here look wait a minute that's not robert mizzle but we're playing robert mizzle on the bluetooth and this this lady that co-owned the place wasn't yeah. it? she's sitting out the front too just near us and and she said oh i love that singer and i looked around all I seen was fucking tits. <laughs> then I look back that way and Kim see me looking at her tits. Because Kim reckons she went inside and put this dress on and her tits were bulging out everywhere. True story. <laughs> it just yeah. went across my head because all I started talking about was Robert Mizzle. How good yeah. a singer he was. He was oblivious to so the tits. Ever since then, her tits have been known as Robert Mizzle. Every time Robert Mizzle comes on, which is an Irish singer, yeah. we, we name it Tits. Mm. <laughs> Russ didn't see him, but anyway, so he tells me. <laughs> didn't tell him, mate. Oh, didn't tell him. No. <laughs> okay, we're in Port Wakefield tonight, aren't we, sweetie? Wakefield. Yes, and it's not much of a fucking town, is it, mate? It's 5.16. We're actually in the middle of fucking town here, aren't we? Yep, 5.16, and we still don't know where we're yeah. eating. But anyway, this is our hotel complex for the night, our motel. That's... <laughs> I found a fucking fortune under there, didn't I, mate? Fucking I. $11 I found on the ground there. 
<laughs> he was so stoked. We're sitting there with you. This, this is our motel. We're in Port Wakefield, aren't we? It was my we? idea to come over here, though. No, Kim is upset now. Kim's upset. Kim, Kim is pissed off at me. <laughs> We're sitting out in our motel at Port Wakefield, okay? So, there's our motel room, bikes, and there's Kimmy. Now, we were sitting over at those chairs over there by the bikes, okay? Now we're sitting under a bit of, I'll show you, I'll show you. We're sitting under this, okay? I'll just show you, see? We're sitting under this now. Okay, there's Kimmy, yeah, fucking I waving away. We're sitting under there. Now, we come over, old Rusty sits on Wait, the... I, I said I want to go over here and sit in the sun. Yeah, okay, what else it's, you got to say? It was my idea. <laughs> she keeps saying that, don't she, eh? <laughs> anyway. But anyway, so we come over and old Rusty sits in the chair and looks down around and fucking hell. Push me out the way, not fucking show ya. Knock me off my chair. Look, all them was on the ground. Just the gold is not the silver. Look, look. Eleven fucking dollars, man. <laughs> Just sitting there on the ground, on the bottom. Hey, you got to love it, don't you? Now, she thinks she's getting it for the pokies. Now, she's here arguing with me. It was hers because it was her idea to come over here. Eagle eye seen it. Eagle eye. Fucking old Oh, fucking. Thing. Yeah, she never sees anything on the ground, man. <laughs> On the ground, he found uh, a credit card once and took it to the police station. No, yes. Did you? No, I handed in it wherever. Yes. Yes. Anyway, he handed that in. Um, a bracelet. He found me a bracelet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Then what else did he found? Oh, I found lots of things. Yeah. Found lots of things. Found there on the ground too. But anyway, oh, as yeah. I shared two fucking many, one of those. <laughs> okay, I'll take you over and I'll show you. Out. What do you want? I told you what I want. I want a nice little blonde. That's, haven't got any of them here. You know, you've got big blondes. We ain't got no little blondes, have we? <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I found that eleven dollars, yeah, come here. I'll show you guys. This is our <laughs> motel. Look, look. <laughs> she's she's got the money out of my pocket. I've halved it up. Yeah, she's got the money out of my pocket. This is ridiculous. Oh, I tell you, this is our unit. Look at this. She's fucking halved them up. All the money I had in my pocket, and she's halved up. She reckons half that's hers. Well, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, you rusty. Well, well, this is out. Anyway, regardless of that, we'll sort that out. <laughs> yeah, you rusty. <laughs> I'll probably have to fight that out with her. But we got two single beds tonight. One each, or we've got a double. <laughs> Kim's already got a fucking ornament set up in her little nook and cranny here, has she? Oh, for crying out loud. But did they make that little did they make that little hole for you, sweetie? What's that, babe? That little, you know, your little vibe. What are we gonna call him? He's become a nuisance, he has. Oh, Freddy! <laughs> That's where you are. Freddy? Freddy. Why is it called Freddy? None of your business. Ooh. Oh, Freddy. You're going to have to tell me this, babe. You're going to have to no, tell me. No, I'm not. Freddy. Because you'll put it on the camera and I don't want it. <laughs> oh, the don't worry, guys. I'll get it out of her. Freddy, hmm? what's he doing in your pocket now? Yeah. yeah. By the way, there's not a real lot here in Port Wakefield, I can tell you. But... <laughs> We did find a carton of strong bow, so that's one thing. We might find some food soon. Uh, I'll show you the shitter. Now that's our um that's our sink. That's our shower there. That's our fucking toilet. Look, in South Australia. Now this is our shitter. In South Australia, they save on blue loos by making the fucking loose blue. How fucking good an idea is that? That's money you're gonna save, isn't it, for sure? For sure. What are you doing? No. I don't trust you. You're always up to no good. Me? Yeah, you're mm. always up. No, don't trust her, guys. If you ever meet up with Kimmy Russ Adventures, for God's sake, don't trust Kimmy. Oh, yeah. She fucking locking me out. <laughs> Do I really care? I got money in my pocket. I can. I got. I got money in my pocket. I can go to the pub. I'll be there all night. I'll be there all night. Where are you gonna sleep? What? Where are you going to sleep? Some little blonde place, I guess. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's one down near the fish shop that was chatting us up no. before. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm going to go and say yes. You're in. Rusty's in trouble. No, you're in. <laughs> Piss off. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Because you glue all the pieces back together.